Bearcat Nation, what is going on? This is Justin Summers from Front Office News here with star running back Jerome Ford. Jerome, first year under the bus in Cincinnati. How was it your first year? Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. It was great. I think it was a great year. It's absolutely exciting. Yeah. Coaching, things that go on. It's like I missed out on a lot of the good stuff, but I'm, I'm going to see it this year. Yeah, so second year now, you know, fans coming back and everything. How excited are you to actually play at Nippert with fans in the stands for the first time in your whole career here? I'm excited. Uh, a lot of fans. I heard it get loud. Everybody's bashing me about Nip, Nip at night if I'm excited about that. I, from what I hear, it's a real deal, so I'm excited about that. Could you talk about your expectations for yourself as a whole for this upcoming year? I know last year you were a dynamic duo with Jared Dobbs. Obviously, he's gone in the NFL. It looks like it is up to you now to take on the lead role for running back. I mean, can you just talk about what your expectations are for yourself this year? Uh, as far as expectations, I expect them. I expect to come out here, get better, uh, put myself in the best possible position to help the team win. Uh, and leave the running backs, make sure our group is better because we're only as good as our weakest link. So as long as our group is good and you know, we're making our team better, I think. So we talked to Coach Vic yesterday about you a little bit. Um, we mentioned the lead role of running back, you know, you taking the role. And he mentioned that you were hungry for it. He mentioned that he's spoken to you many times this offseason about the role. And he said that, you know, he has full confidence in you. How does that feel to have the head coach, you know, talk about you like that and have the full confidence that you're ready to take on this huge role? It means a lot. It actually adds to my confidence. And, you know, it's, it's just almost like a, you know, like on Madden, if you're a 70 overall, it's almost like a rating boost, the extra confidence. I feel like confidence is key. And uh, when you're playing this game, being confident in everything you do, having a little swag to yourself. So hearing that from him is a big one. How is your uh, relationship with Coach Page so far? I know last year he came over from Eastern Michigan and then you came over the same year as him. Can you talk about your role with him and how much of a uh, help that he has been to you so far since you came to Cincinnati? Coach been a big help. Coach, Coach Homo, I talk to Coach about everything. Uh, I, even during practice, you come to him for everything, everything football related, anything. He's almost like one of the, one of the other running backs. Real good person. And then finally, I know rough end of the year last year, tough loss. Um, you went off that game. You had your biggest, in my opinion, biggest breakout game of the year. Great game. I loved watching you. Um, what did you work on this offseason to, you know, continue that pace from that last game and continue it for this upcoming year? Uh, my confidence and, you know, taking on a role as a starter. Uh, I had only started one game before that, and uh, it was against Duke at Alabama. I didn't do as good as I expected to do that game. So starting against Georgia, playing against another SEC team, uh, that was that was real big for me. It helped me out a lot. Uh, as far as the offseason, right? You said the offseason? Yes. Um, same. Uh, really getting bigger, stronger, faster, trying to help the team in any way. Uh, getting closer to Dez, the O-line, and the receivers. So we all on the same page. So it's time to get back on the big stage. Perfect. And that's my last question for you. Um, Thank you for joining us here today. I really appreciate your time and effort. Bearcat Nation, make sure you check out the front office news. Check out the Bearcats this year. Big year coming for you. Um, we're excited to get some content out for you, and we are out.